<laughs> Obviously, I knew it was going to go. So this string is made up of these multiple threads, like this, right? Now, each one of these is, of course, capable of supporting a certain amount of weight. A surprising amount of weight, in fact, which I can demonstrate over here. Let's see how many of these two and a half kilo bricks the threads hold when they're separated out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, that's 17 bricks. Total weight, approximately 44 kilos. Thing is, over time, there's kind of a high chance that one of these is going to break, which I'm going to represent using the smallest pair of scissors that production could find, <laughs> right here. OK, you ready? I'm actually quite nervous. OK, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not ideal, is it? Not ideal. The problem is, when you're using individual threads, as soon as one of them fails, the load on the remaining ones is going to massively increase in a really dramatic way and cause them to fail, which is exactly what happened there. But there is a trick that you can use to stop this from happening. So. I'm going to reset this and show you how it works. Right, let's go again. But this time, when you look at a string like this carefully, you'll notice that all those threads, they're twisted around one another like this. Exactly the same number of threads as before, but that makes an incredible difference. Let me show you. So now that is exactly the same number of bricks as before, except this time, because the threads are twisted, it makes two key differences. The weight of that lift is going to be spread throughout the threads much more evenly. And secondly, because of the friction that exists between these twisted threads... Hang on, what friction? There's friction because the threads have a rough texture, which creates resistance making them grip together. Anyway, where were we? Because of the friction that exists between these twisted threads, it means that even if one piece fails, it's wrapped together so tightly that it will still support the structure of this string all the way down. At least, that's the theory. Now it makes sense why I've got such teeny tiny scissors. OK, here we go. All right, let's see if I can get in there with one of these. Ooh, look at that. There you go. Ooh. One thread's gone and it's holding! Look at that! So at that point there now, it's only on two. Like, nothing has changed. We are using the same number of threads, the same basket, and yet one time it fails and the other time it doesn't just because you twisted it together. Like, it's like hacking the laws of physics, almost. <laughs> OK, can I put more in the basket? <sighs> OK, the first time it failed at about 44 kilos. I've just added another 27 kilos, nearly double. I mean, look, I'm a mathematician, so if I say it's double, you've got to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I knew it was going to go. My lizard brain made me jump. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> 